heading down to get my tags for my scooter got a microwave a fan some electrical cords in there a swiffer handle all that exciting stuff i wasn't going to turn the camera on until i got my tags but then I, i've been hitting a couple of these apartment complexes on the way there there's an old one that's from like the 80s man i'm pretty sure 80s 90s and then uh, this made me fire the camera up. I saw this video game sticking out the corner of that bag. What do we got here? I haven't looked at it yet. Or, I mean, I looked at here, but I haven't looked in that bag yet. Uh, Xbox 360 Connect Adventures. I bet, I bet when that was new, that was probably a fun game, huh? A little dated now, but it's kind of stuff I like right there, we think. Always a market for that kind of stuff. Okay. What do we have here? So with this kind of video game gear, I used game store, we'll almost always buy them. Unless there's damage, you can see that one. They won't buy that one. But it's probably a working controller. So you know, you can probably lock this kind of stuff up on eBay. Sell a bunch of controllers on eBay. I like to just say, because uh, if you don't have all the, all the different kinds of consoles and if you don't, can't test out all that kind of video game stuff. Lot them up on eBay and sell it on the parts not working category. And then just in the description say, you know, this stuff could work, might not work, you know. Feels good, blah, blah, blah. You know, but could be problems. So I, I like that parts not working condition. Uh, parts not working category on eBay. You can sell a lot of garbage on eBay. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's a tendency for people to list it in the used category and say it's untested. But that's, I think eBay should have stopped allowing that a long time ago. You know, they're, they're a company. I, I just think they would eliminate so many problems. Here's a nice little clothes dump. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not in the, not in the mode for clothes right now. But I'll put a little indicator out here like so. So we can have a look at that. Because technically on eBay, uh oh, look at that. Oh, good, it's used. Let's see if I get some brass. Technically on eBay, the used category, if you read it, it specifically says it's for used working condition items, right? So uh, if you're ever wondering, when you're listed in that parts not working category, you, <laughs> you'd be surprised the amount of money that people will pay for broken stuff just for parts right so uh, don't be worried to sell some stuff and parts not working yeah a little drone look at it <clears throat> i think that's i think i got the remote control for that right there what do you think about that so this looks kind of like a closet dump of some sorts maybe a little flash wallet <laughs> Unused, it'll go free sale swag only. Erasers. Brand new. There's a Jenga in here, but I'm not gonna try to find all those pieces. 
Let's see, this might actually be the drone remote control here. One of my viewers buys a lot of that video game stuff out of my videos. If you ever want to buy something out of my videos, if you click on show more, the description will open up and down in the description at the bottom somewhere, there'll be directions. Tin Farkle for you to do so. You can buy stuff straight out of my videos. You don't have to leave a comment or nothing, just read the directions. Nothing here, isn't there? Oh no. It's not the same watch. <laughs> I thought that looked familiar. <laughs> Alrighty then.
Head rush. Oh, jeez. Okay, I think I got it. That's just a cheap, old, cheap plastic keyboard right there. I might just run to the scrap yard after I get my tags and unload this stuff. Let's take one quick look. I'm kind of over my over my time limit. My my get out of here bells going off. to get you saw it that's nice like i was just done i was just talking about that i was hoping i could find like the battery in the back there but that's i was just talking about that right this stuff sells awesome on ebay parts not working category <clears throat> um like lot that up you know you could probably sell that by itself for parts but uh, you can lot it up with other video game gear and i just put it on auction some stuff I know that's gonna sell where there's demand for it. You know, I might just list it for a penny, right, on auction. I guess those shotgun cells were metal. I was too busy yapping. <laughs> oh well. I'll throw that out in the field. Cool bud. And then, uh, but yeah, just penny auction and just get a couple bidders to go start bidding against each other i like just letting the the free market on ebay just determine the price of stuff <clears throat> that's what, one reason i really like auctions on ebay because some lots of times you might not know what to list stuff for you know but you can like look on ebay and see what stuff's sold for in the past but that you still don't know what the current market really is right so that's kind of like why i like ebay I don't know if I list it for too much, you know, I could sit there for years or months and years and years and years, or, you know, so. Uh, I thought like eBay a lot, just saves a lot of time and trouble. And I got my little dodgeball here. I can't say I've seen a ball like that. that that's kind of like what's inside of a basketball. That's a nice ball. Uh, that beats those big red balls that you get smacked in the face with. That's a nice one there. Playground ball safe, right? You can get smacked in the head with that. It's not gonna, I mean, it might sting a little, but <laughs> it's not gonna do any damage. Huh. So I was talking about eBay. Just listen to stuff at auction if you know it's got, got some demand and because you, you don't sometimes you might not know what to list stuff for and uh, What is that? It's an old looking deal um, And you might think well, you know get a little less money at auctions, but auctions will surprise you man 
<laughs> you get people bidding against each other and there's a tendency to for the prices of auctions to actually go above above the price you would have listed it for a fixed price you know what i mean don't don't underestimate the power of them auctions man i could sell that right there probably sell that on ebay brand new if i wanted remote controls are another one you can lot up on ebay and you get a big lot of stuff like that you can be safe to safe to start it at a penny or a dollar or 99 cents or I like starting at 98 cents penny, but see the reason why one of the reasons why it's good to start stuff low on eBay is because there's a filter on eBay where people are searching for an item for the lowest price. If you list yours for a penny, then your yours will show up first. This these are an item you can lot up on eBay. There's also a little gold on there, not much. That one's brand new. <laughs> uh, you can sell these, lot, lot a bunch of these up on eBay. Sell them at auction. So I was kind of born out of the, the eBay auction. You know, you need a, I could probably take that for scrap as well. I'm going to the scrap yard, so I'll go ahead and take this. Um, it's another good thing about auctions. Is, you know, you set like a five day or seven day or three day or 10 day auction, whatever, you know, when it's, you know, you have control of when it's going to sell. I don't know what that is. It looks old. What is it? Electric ice crusher. <laughs> what? So something like that, you might want to hold off. I'll check out the value of that. Make sure it's definitely vintage. That's probably from the seventies, eighties. But anyways, I'm kind of yapping now, but to new folks out there, I thought I'd throw down some, those are plastic blinds right there, not aluminum. Throw out a little eBay knowledge. Uh, uh, eBay auctions, I just, I just love it, man. If you want to sell garbage, eBay auctions. I shouldn't say garbage, right? This is <laughs> really good stuff, really, but you know what I mean. So sometimes I'll see a comment asking me how I came up with the idea of a free tail store. It's called the curb, and uh, this is a round ball, so I'll find a spot. Whoops, dang it. There we go, right by the yard sale sign. Perfect. <laughs> You're looking at it, there's where it came from. Of course, I save it up. And uh, a way for me to make money off of doing that is to monetize it. The way for me to monetize that is to save it up and make a video about it and uh, make revenue with the Google AdSense ads you see in my videos. So basically what you're watching here is uh, me taking a trip to the DMV. I know lots of people out there have done that. It's always a great joy. So basically what I'm doing is I'm monetizing a trip to the DMV. I talk about scavenging while you're just out running your everyday errands. So I monetize putting stuff on the curb with the free sale free tail stuff and then i'm monetizing a glorious trip to the dmv monetizing that so uh this is a everything you see me find when i go to the scrapyard this is just a trip to the dmv to get my new tags so what do you think about that this place is packed Eighty-seven. 
Uh, so it's lots of fun. <clears throat> so I was in there thinking if you uh, are looking for ways to make money, I would suggest trying to start a YouTube channel. It's pretty difficult. You make your first view videos, you don't get any views. It's really discouraging. Uh, if you have like six months where you put out four or five videos a week for six months, that's basically what it takes for most people, unless you're a Unless the, unless the algorithm really likes you and you're a star so it's a job it's a job but once once you get burned into the youtube algorithm then you can start to monetize your trips to the dmv and you know whatever, whatever you do but uh, kind of got to find a niche find a niche i have a plethora of channels I'm starting. I, I just started one a couple weeks ago, about two weeks ago, called Daily Best of Internet. It's linked down in the description if you want to check it out. There's lots of, lots of different kinds of channels you can start, but uh, it requires time. But once once you get in there, once the, once the algorithm starts suggesting your videos, then that's when it starts to pay off. restaurant equipment there used to be a guy I'm not sure if he's around anymore he was hooked up with the McDonald's he'd get out our stainless steel equipment and bring it to these scrapyards Missed. Ouch. <laughs> don't think I don't see you, boy. I see you. I see you. That's a good spot to find stuff. Yeah. Birds and bugs and stuff. Watch out for that dog over there. <laughs> had some questions last time about the big chicken where's the big big chicken I don't see a big chicken where's the big chicken it's a big chicken there's his head and his beak all right he's gonna peck peck cars coming by right his wing see his big wing <laughs> tail <laughs> there's a vine growing over some kind of tree or bush every year it fills in this coming winter, I'll get a shot of the structure for you. Fear the chicken. Fear the big chicken. Ah! Ah! See if he picks this car. <laughs> He's got a fine plumage this year. Look at that. See his big tail sticking up? Wing on this side, a big, big fancy tail on that guy.
So if anyone knows, please let us know down in the comments section. I see these pretty frequently, more frequently, more frequently than you would think. These box springs out of a box spring mattress. Um, why? <laughs> if you know why someone would have a reason to take all this stuff off of there. It's not burned. It's not been burned. I don't know why people do that. If you know why people do that, those are nice pieces of scrap. I could actually take that if I really wanted. Immediately go down to the scrapyard. Um, let us know. <laughs> it's a mystery to me. Why? Why someone would pick that totally clean? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I could speculate. I have no idea. Someone out there knows. Let us know. That's supposed to be under there. I don't see how it fits under there though. Doesn't make any sense. Oh, that's falling down. That is supposed to be up in there. Huh. Well, that whole thing don't look too stable, does it? Look at that. Look at that. It's sitting on a slope. Uh, that could fall over on somebody. If a car, if a car hit this right here, there was somebody standing back there. That's really, that's a really bad, <laughs> really bad place. Bad design, bad setup, bad, lots of bad things going into that. What do you think? These are aluminum. Nothing wonderful. Another piece of aluminum. Look at this massive treasure. Can you believe it? Let's see. Another one? Where are these things, I wonder? If they were tin, I could try to guess, but they're just weak, weak little pieces of aluminum. take that brass off before I go to the scrapyard nice pieces of brass on there but uh, I thought that was a garden hose some kind of hydraulic or air I don't know no time to talk gotta get out of here one guy gave me the thumbs up Another guy yelling at me. 
I'll make the decision easy. Actually, not a little bad bird feeder. Uh, it has some rainwater sit in it. But uh, I just go to the scrapyard <laughs> earlier. The ice cube crusher. I just scrapped that scrapyard. Hopefully, it's not worth a bunch of money. But uh, like that thing. Maybe that works. Maybe you could sell it and maybe you could use it. But I've already got two of these in my storage unit. And I'm pretty sure it sure work. And uh, I might actually run down to the scrapyard. I think they're still open. My clock's fouled up, so I'm gonna go find out. A farkle for me, a farkle for, 10 farkle. Look at that, look at that. You got to be careful, folks, you got to be careful. Here, farkle, 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 farkle. Here, Farkle, 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 Farkle. The Farkle call almost never fails. But it would appear it just did. I bet there's one around here somewhere. Look at that. That's a, <laughs> that's a Tasmanian Farkle crate. Farkle habitat, I tell you what. Prime Farkle habitat. Well. Hey 
Hey, mind if I keep the camera going? Think about that. This is how I used to do it in the good old days. I used to just go out and run routes, come back, run routes, come back. There's another scrapyard down there. There's another scrapyard down there. Off and on, there's another scrapyard over here. Another scrapyard up the road. Several more scrapyards up the road further. <laughs> so, uh, there it is. That's tin shed. That's short steel. This is clean aluminum. Some scrapyards might require you to take the strings out. It just depends on how your scrapyard does it. This is going to be number two insulated copper. This might go as number one. They might go as number two. Let's see what they want to do with it. And uh, I was going to take the brass off here. But there's a heavy steel in there. Uh, I don't want to mess with it right here. It's scale like this. So. Well, hell, man. You want it? it? Yeah, man, I already cut it. I think it was already damaged. My bad, man. It's still got the steel inside. Yeah. You know, it'll probably leak, won't it? I think it'll leak. I'm gonna try to cut it off there. You don't want it? I got 
gotta take some bolt cutters or something. He's a, he, that guy's a scavenger, so he's coming in here. He's gonna take that lawnmower up to that front scale and buy that lawnmower for twice the price of scrap. So he probably would have taken this hose. I think this was already damaged right there. See that? That's why I was throwing away. Hey, I could probably get through that one. Yeah, I'll mess with it right here. You don't often see this little process, so keep the camera rolling for you. Hey, what's that bin? That bin's full of garbage, ain't it? Yeah, it's full of just uh, stuff you're gonna send. What you wanna do with this stuff? I got some good stuff. So number two, what you think? We got number one, number right one there, on there. A little bit of number two right there. What's on the hands? It's brass. Yeah, you, it's steel. You guys can chop it off easy. You just wanna go 10th straight on it? Uh, yeah, I'll give you a kind of dirty brass. All right. Did you hear that? He's gonna give me a pound of dirty brass for that steel hose. They have a machine right inside where they can, where they just take this kind of stuff. Shink! Just chop it right off here. Copper came up 10 cents a pound. Seventeen and some change on that one. The first one was like five or something. I donated a microwave to him. They don't take microwaves with mic with magnetrons in them, so they got a spot back there to take them. Got a guy that works on them, so first load would have been about six or so, maybe seven, maybe. off the camera too quick pay attention guy uh, wheelchair foot 
footrest, I do believe. If I see that right. Hopefully no one in a wheelchair comes by. <coughs> Voice crack. That needs a pair of footrests. What do you think?
copper lines, compressor. The compressor is a lot of weight, a lot of the weight of these refrigerators. There's a couple tabs here. Or you can take off the whole piece of steel that holds them. This one's actually got nuts. But uh, that's an older one for sure. Um, technically, you're not supposed to go releasing that gas. But anyways, I was thinking about making a video about products that have been manufactured where they just are let loose out in the society, right? Like <laughs> CRT TVs, uh, the glass tubes, and refrigerators, air conditioners, and I was thinking of some other things, like hazardous, toxic stuff, right? And technically it's illegal for you to go cutting those open and whatnot and breaking the glass tubes. And But it's like, <laughs> wasn't the, the manufacturer Aren't they supposed to have some responsibility in unleashing that, right? Why is it everyone else's fault? You know, it's a no-win situation. Anyways. What did I spy with my little eye? Lots of times people say, or you might not think I'm looking behind there, but I can see back in there pretty good. Look at it. What do you think about that? I'll take that. I'll take that all day long. <laughs> That's kind of like the rim I just started the video with. Um, this one's actually a lot more lightweight, but it's kind of a low profile. Look at that, that's a funky. I wonder why, I wonder why this is back there. That's a pretty nice, maybe just because it's dirty. <laughs> that's a nice wheel. That's full of air. It's a new tire. Huh. Ouch, ouch. Dang it. Mm, interesting. Anyways, I can see back behind them dumpsters when I pull in there pretty good, so. I'll have to take that to a shop or cut that off there myself. There's actually a tire shop. I could probably sell that rubber as well. I might be able to sell this for decent money if there's nothing wrong with it that I'm not seeing. I think that uh, on the, I got a spe there's a specialty tire shop. I can take that to see what they want to do with that. A ten back ten farkle. You do not find that species too often. Look at it. It's not. Oh, it's not considered a rare or endangered species, but it's, uh, you seldom do see it. I think they mainly come out at night. Look at that speckled green back. Look at it. Hot spot for farkles.
now I can never have to go to Walmart and get one of those. I have no excuse to ever buy one of those again. <laughs> I've scrapped so many of those. And then I'll come to a point where I'll, I'll need one for something and I'll be like, oh, I scrapped 10,000. <laughs> scrapped 10,000 of them. And uh, now I don't have one, so I'm just gonna put that in a drawer or something. <laughs> So, what's this? Is that some kind of smart watch deal? I'm a little behind the times on some of this stuff. Polar. Polar something or other. What about them comic books, man? Some the comic books identifications on us. If someone in the comments section knows something about them comic books, let us know. Uh, I was hoping this would be better. Hey, look at that. little miniature well my battery just died I had a backup battery so I got nine percent whoops I thought I had two full batteries a little baby miniature look at it multi-tool that's pretty cool and then uh, some wires and some wires and this might be the end of the video well I'm out of battery I'm pretty close to being done anyway a little USB Charger, what's that magic show game with Sambo Spectacle Demons? Oh, little magical trick, little magic tricks. Uh, hey, what's this four in one stylus pen? I might have to put, I might have to put that to use myself. And uh, some little storage devices. And I guess that's gonna be it. I was hoping that'd be better. My battery is shot, man. I'm just going to end it here. I think I was going to have myself a nice little animal cage here, but that's broken. That's been zip tied back together. I don't want one that's got sharp pieces of metal sticking off of it. So, uh, that's going to wrap it up, folks. I sure appreciate you watching. Sure hope you enjoyed the show. And uh, as always, thanks for watching.